Welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and we are going to focus on computer configuration. Now, whenever we work with computer configuration, you have to think of your hardware. How does it work together? Now, when you buy a computer, it's important to understand the relation between CPU and RAM and how they work together. You also need to know that if you have a lot of data, you need to have a bigger storage space as well as enough RAM to help with access to these files. So all of this simply tells us the relation between these devices. Now when you use these devices, you have to make sure that the sizes of these devices actually work in hand so that you can be able to have a proper working system. Now your hardware configuration, you're going to first look at your processor, which is the CPU. Now the processor is responsible for running programs and processing data. Now if you have a CPU that has multiple cores, it means that it has more than one processor chip. All right. Now your memory. Now memory is your temporary storage for data and programs that are being processed. Now, the more memory you have, the better your computer will function. Now, your memory would come in a form of DIMMs, all right, which is this picture here. So we refer to this as a DIMM. And the example that is normally used would be a DDR3. So in most of the adverts that you would see, you would see that they would refer to your RAM as a DDR3, and then they would give you the size of the RAM. Then now another thing about the RAM is that if you have a 4 gigabytes of RAM, it simply means that you need to make sure that your operating system is a 64-bit version. And another thing is that with your RAM, it allows easy access to data. So you need to make sure that whenever you choose hardware devices, you make sure that your processor as well as your RAM are actually working together in terms of the sizes. And then the last hardware that we're going to look at is a hard drive. Now your hard drive is the main permanent storage device for all your data. Remember the RAM is not permanent but it's a, st a temporary storage device and hence your hard drive is the one that stores your data permanently. Now sometimes when you see your hard drive in pictures where they advertise or in your advertisement where they show you the, um, the information about the device, they would refer it to as a SATA. Right. Then your hard drive, the larger size uh, you get, the better, because it means that you'll be able to store more data. But now if you have a larger size um, of um, a hard drive, it means you would need to have more RAM because you need this RAM to help you have access to these files. And that is it for our lesson. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.